Welcome guys, welcome to this video and now in this video I want to show you how we can include one file in another file in PHP. So when you be working with the project and you will be having multiple uh, files, you will be including one file into the other. So in my text editor currently I have the index.php file. So yeah. Alright, so if I refresh this here I get the home right there in this page i want to run a function and but i don't want that function to write here i want to have it in a separate file so what i can do is that i go into my uh, projects structure first of all so it's here it's right now only one file so i create here a folder with the name of functions so you can even subcategorize it if your application is big that then you can say functions and inside there you might want to say for blog for blog underscore functions something like that but in this case as we are just checking it I just wanna uh, make single folder with just functions so I'm going to create a brand new file here with the name of functions.php and I'm going to store this file inside this functions folder all right, so it's going to be there. Now I'm going to write a function here and that function will output something from the main page. So I remove this and I start the PHP tags. Function, then I'm going to give a name, display page name. Now I prefer camel casing in uh, function names because in JavaScript, or in, uh, we do prefer camel casing, so it's better if you have an overall application in the camel casing, so that your code will be more organized. So you can uh, do that. So you can write a function like this, and I say echo uh, trade like we are including and displaying this function from here. Now, as this is defined here, if I want to use this function in this file, I need to first call that file. So I go on the top, I say PHP and we can use here include this is a php function now when you include a file you just tell where that file is so we have this file inside functions directory so we say functions slash functions dot php and this will include this file so instead of echo home because i have this echo working I'm going to call this function straight away so I'm going to remove that I'm going to call it here and we don't need to do anything and I'm just going to refresh the page now and we get pages home so you get that we just call the function it is available from here now we can use include once as well so let me just copy and paste this line and here I'm going to add the comment so we can say underscore once all right save and refresh now nothing changes everything stays the same because it includes this file once in this scenario it works just fine even with the include and include once because page loads it includes the file once that's fine now in scenarios where you be dealing with uh, where you might want to include file only once but it can include multiple times just for example let's say if this uh, we call or include this inside a loop but we want to do it only once we can call it include once so it is going to fire once and not going to fire again in the uh, when the next time loop runs now this is something that is used rarely you will be using more include generally now we can also uh, use one more which is require just say require and here you save the file refresh the page everything stays the same nothing changes and we also have uh, require once so require once refresh the page nothing changes everything stays just the same okay so so the main difference between include and require is that include uh, 
Now let me show you an example. What happens is if I say we are calling this function which is inside functions.php and we are including it on the top. So what I say, I say here echo and I want to see if it prints this so as it works. Alright, and then I'm going to change this file name here to functions one.php and we know that this is functions.php so this is going to give us an error that this file is not present so let's see what happens so I go here I refresh the page we get the warning include file is not there then we get the warning include file is not there and we get forex so you can see that it printed this now it gave us fat letter when it couldn't find the function and that happened afterwards but we managed to get our data now if in case if I command this line and enable require and in functions I again give the functions one dot PHP we are still going to get error because we don't have any file with the name of functions one now when you refresh here you will notice it is straight away uh, saying file is not present and we are not getting uh, the works because it says like okay we need this file we are not going any further if we don't have this file but in case of include we are getting a warning and still manage to execute the further code so this is the main difference what do you see uh, in include and require so, uh, so hope you like this in the next video we will see the project structure how to set up a project if you want to create a project in php so let's see in the next one goodbye